When we're organizing a hackathon, we want to bring together those engineers, those entrepreneurs, those clinicians, those designers and scientists to really hack and develop disruptive solutions in healthcare and medicine. We really want to infect people with that passion and that spirit of hacking medicine. 382 million people on the planet with diabetes. If you're interested in rare diseases and you happen to be a physician, what do you do? What do you look for? What you're going to discover and hack and invent today is going to be standard of care. Day two, they come in bright and early, having already met each other and made a bunch of friends. And the idea is first to get people in a really high energy environment where they're pitching pain points. And my problem in Uganda is how to keep the incredible equipment that you send for me working. When every bit of information can make the difference between life and death, everything matters. After the first round of pitching, there is social mixing. So people will collide, hopefully partnerships will form. I would say my biggest piece of advice is to get the most diverse team possible. Mm -hmm. That way you are bound to have you know, multiple experiences and background and expertise to collaborate together. We'll do a second round of pitching that's more solution focused. We've already started uh, discussing a platform technology. We specifically need software engineers that know multiple languages. We are building an app that's going to enable people that can't speak or move their limbs to communicate just using their eye movements. After that, teams will kind of find their own space, find a table, and we'll just start hacking. We came out of the very first hacking medicine, and we build technologies to keep diabetic feet healthy. A lot of it is to get the right sort of mentors that can help out. So you can have a hackathon, you can bring together people, we can work on ideas, but you know, we needed help in very specific areas, and sure enough, they had an expert that we could just bring over to our table and just riddle him with questions, poor guys, you know, we wouldn't let him leave. Your company's almost two and a half years old or so at this point, so we've been at it for a while. Now we're in clinical trials. Uh, this crazy idea that was just on this, these scratch boards in the beginning is now in people's homes. By the third day, we want you to have a, a good framework for next steps. The Geo captures audio and visual information from each of the primary care visits. It automates some of the simple EMR updates and also transcribes the doctor's notes so he can go back and update his clinical notes. We've actually come up with a new and improved way to kind of think about how to actually categorize and review apps. We've created a solution that fits on the end of existing tracheostectomy tubes and monitors a patient's airflow. Now is one of the best times in the history of the world to be a, a healthcare entrepreneur because with change comes all these opportunities that the existing institutions can't address. The grand prize goes to the Vidrio team and their use of Google Glass. Winner of the diabetes track is uh, MedApp. The award goes to Breathe Easy. The winner of the thousand dollar prize is MedSnack. So the next step for us was, all right, let's just keep it going, solidify the idea. After building the new product, we actually launched it a month and a half ago now, and now we are hitting the ground running. Hackathons are really good because it brings people out of the woodwork, and the idea can be anything. Hackathons come into play because this is at the front end of innovation. This is the hardest area of innovation. One of the most amazing things we've seen is just how powerful it is to plant the seed in different areas and then watch it grow. 